As with any lifestyle change or physical exercise program, consult your physician before you begin your yoga practice. If you are pregnant, discuss your yoga practice with your yoga instructor. As your pregnancy progresses, you will need to modify or avoid certain poses. Move at your own pace and modify the poses as needed in order to maintain alignment and easy breathing in every pose. If you feel any discomfort, dizziness, or pain during your practice, either modify the pose so that you are comfortable or take a few moments to rest. It is very important that you listen to your body and practice yoga in the manner that is the safest and most comfortable for you. Namaste. Hello, my name is Michael. This is Foundations One Flow, which is a classical Shivananda flow. Namaste. And slowly coming to standing, coming to the front of your mat, looking down at your toes, spreading them wide. Bring your hands to Namaste and slowly exhale. Inhale, arms reaching to the sky, hands in prayer position, exhaling, reaching out and down, relaxing. Letting the head reach down towards the ground, keeping those sit bones above the heels, above those ankle bones. Relaxing, staying with the breath, feeling the prana, the energy flowing through the body. Inhaling halfway up, looking straight forwards, keeping that back nice and flat. Exhale, releasing down. Do not lock the knees here, allowing the energy to flow through the legs smoothly. And relaxing, relaxing. Slowly inhale. Nice flat back, looking up and reaching that left leg back into low lunge. Pick those shoulders up, roll them back and down, keeping the chest gently lifted not forcing, looking towards the sky. Inhale, opposite foot back into plank position. Keeping that back nice and flat, shoulders directly over the wrist bones, pressing through the heels, lengthening the backs of the legs, exhaling, slowly coming down into eight point position, forehead touching the earth. Nice arch in the lower back, creating lots of space between the vertebra, between the muscles. Exhale, relaxing down. And slowly and deeply coming into cobra posture, inhaling, extending through the crown, keeping the chest open, keeping those shoulders back and down away from the ears. No using the hands here, not yet. Relaxing down, forehead coming to kiss the earth. Relax, release. Inhale once again, extending up through the crown of the head. Notice rolling up vertebra by vertebra. Relaxing the jaw gently. Keeping with the breath, always breathing, exhaling all the way down. And inhale back and up to downward dog. Keeping the abdominal muscles engaged, flattening out the back, pressing through the shoulders, pressing through the tips of the hands, lifting the sit bones towards the sky, pressing down through the heels. Staying with the breath, keeping your focus on the breath, on that single point. Looking forwards, inhale, reaching that left foot forwards back into low lunge. 
looking up. This time, if you like, you can take the hands off the ground, taking the depth a little bit further into that lunge. Inhale, opposite foot forwards into a standing forward bend. Just allowing the crown to drop down towards the earth, finding a little bit more length in the backs of the legs, sit bones reaching towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Breathing deep, remembering to allow the prana to flow through the body, inhaling, reaching the arms up and reaching towards the sky, reaching back, opening up the heart towards the sun to receive that energy, exhaling back to namaste. And exhale, once again dropping the hands, reaching up towards the sky. And exhale, reaching out, reaching, reaching, reaching. Allowing the breath to flow smoothly. Bringing the hands down to the earth, making that connection there. Remembering you can bend your knees as much as you need to, to feel the comfort. Trying to find the space between the hips and the thighs. And reaching back down towards the earth. And relaxing deeply. Inhale halfway up and reach that right leg back for a low lunge. Really feeling the front of that right thigh opening up. So you extend that left knee forwards, really feeling those hip bones level, one not higher than the other, really opening up the legs, opening up the stomach, feeling light in the upper body. Inhale, opposite foot back into plank position. Remembering to keep Uddiyana Bandha or those lower abdominal muscles engaged, extending through the heels, through the backs of the knees, not locking any muscles in the body to allow the prana, the energy to flow smoothly. Exhale, coming down slowly into eight point position. Hands beside the shoulders. Shoulders pulled back and down, forehead kissing the earth. And slowly, gently exhaling, allowing everything to relax down towards the earth, letting go, and slowly, gently, inhale, allowing energy in the body to expand as you extend the crown towards the sky, opening the chest, this time giving a little bit more energy with the hands. Not forcing anything, just opening the chest, using those back muscles to lift you up and exhaling, dropping back down. Relax. Slowly once again, inhale, lifting vertebra by vertebra, opening the chest opening the body. With these back bends, we're really opening ourselves to the world. And inhale, pushing up, back and down into downward dog. Pressing through the extent of the fingertips, pushing through the hands, finding the length from the tips of the fingertips all the way to the sit bones. Finding the lengths in the backs of the legs. Remember your heels don't have to be on the ground here and the legs do not have to be straight. Bend your knees as much as you have to and keep your heels off the ground as much as you have to to be comfortable. Inhale, reaching that right leg forward for low lunge once again. You can take the hands to the knees now if you feel comfortable. If you're not comfortable here, then you can just stay in the first position. 
walking forward, being tall and light with the upper body. Feel that length in the front thigh. Inhale, opposite foot coming forward, back into forward bend. Breathing here, allowing the body to just rest. Relaxing into the earth, into the posture. Being with the breath. Just feeling the flow. Gently in and out, being in your body. Inhale, reaching the arms up, reaching up. Inhale and exhale, reaching back. Inhale, back up to Namaste. Reflecting here for a moment. And exhale. Inhale, reaching the arms up. And exhale, forward bend. Picking up the pace a little bit here now. Getting warm in the body. Inhale, halfway up. And reaching that left leg back into low lunge. This time, if you like, if you're feeling strong, you can keep that leg straight. And keeping the knee off the ground, pressing through that back heel. Inhale, taking the hands back down, coming into plank position. Staying with the breath, keeping those abdominals engaged. Keeping the energy flowing through the arms here. Exhale, coming back down into eight point position. Lifting those sit bones, creating space in the lower lumbar. Exhale, coming down to the resting flat position. Keeping those elbows pushed back towards one another. Inhale, coming up into Cobra. Burjangasana. Keeping the chest nice and open. Pressing the hands firmly down into the earth. And exhale, relaxing back down. Inhale, pressing up and back into downward dog. Pressing through the tips of the fingers, through the wrists. Creating space between every joint, between every muscle. Really finding the space between the breaths. Finding those moments of peace, relaxation. Inhale, left foot reaches forward. Once again, coming into runner's lunge. This time you can keep that back leg nice and straight if you like. Inhale, opposite foot forwards, coming into standing forward bend. Relaxing the crown towards the earth. Resting, reflecting, being with the breath. Allowing ourselves to not get caught in the mind. Inhale, reaching the hands out, up, and beautiful back bend. Exhale, hands coming back up to Namaste. Taking a moment. Exhale. Inhale, reaching hands up, and exhale, forward bend. Forehead reaching down, and inhale up and back into runner's lunge once again. Hands coming to Namaste. If you are comfortable in this position now, you can reach the hands up towards the sky, coming into the full posture. Staying with the breath, keeping that knee directly over the ankle, and inhale, taking the opposite foot back into plank pose. Staying with the breath. Exhale, back down to eight point position. And relaxing here for a moment. Finding the space, exhaling flat down every portion of the body, nice and flat. Inhale into full cobra. If you like, if your body is warmed up, you can reach the feet back towards the back of the skull. Take your time coming into and out of the posture as exhale, coming down nice and flat. And once again, inhale up and back into downward dog. Feeling the prana building, feeling the warmth within the body now. Just finding each posture a new, fresh, staying with the breath. Inhale, right foot reaches forward to runner's lunge, keeping the 
extent of that back leg, reaching back, keeping that front knee directly over the ankle bones, reaching the fingertips up towards the sky into yoga mudra, if this is comfortable for you. Hands reaching up, back and around, opposite foot coming down into forward bend. Relaxing here, staying with the breath. Thanking your body for participating in this process. It's about the process, no goals in mind, no destination, inhale. Reaching through the fingertips all the way up towards the sky and back. Gentle back bend here. Inhale. Hands back to Namaste. Exhale, dropping the hands down, reaching up and coming down into seated chair pose. Trying to keep those lower abdominal muscles nice and flat so we don't create too much of an arch in the lower back and exhaling slowly, coming down into sitting. And you can pick the legs up, reach them back, and come all the way down into child's pose. Taking some time here to reflect and relax, just getting in touch with the body. Really find the length through the tips of the fingers, through those sit bones behind you. And bringing the hands into each crook of the elbow, finding the nice equilateral triangle width, and bring your feet back and up into downward dog with the forearms on the ground. And exhale, taking the chin past the front of the hands down to the floor and inhale, pressing back, working the shoulder muscles here, Good preparation for a headstand. Exhale down and inhale back up. So again, exhale down and inhale back up. Now, if you want this to be more difficult, you can bring your feet closer towards your forearms. If you'd like a little bit less difficulty, well, then you can just take your feet a few steps back. And exhaling and inhale and slowly come down back to child's pose this time bringing the hands into prayer position slowly inhale rolling up one vertebra at a time letting the arms be heavy the head be heavy using those abdominal muscles to slowly pull you all the way up pick the shoulders up back and down And reaching the feet forwards, coming into uh, standing L position, and slowly roll down one vertebra at a time, coming onto the back, getting ready for shoulder stand, Sarvangasana. And from the lying position, just taking a few deep breaths in Shavasana. Inhale, picking the knees up towards the forehead, supporting the lower back immediately. Once you're comfortable here, and you've got room with the neck to move, make sure there's no compression in the cervical spine. You can inhale and bring the heels towards the buttocks and take the knees towards the sky. Once you're in this position, no more moving the neck. And slowly inhale, reaching the feet slowly up towards the sky. You want to make this posture a little bit deeper you can work on pressing your heels away from your forehead while bringing your hips towards your forehead this creates length in the spine and creates more room for your legs to move towards the sky
And exhale, taking the right leg slowly down behind your head, reaching towards the ground. If this is too difficult for you, you can take the knees towards the forehead and reaching the left leg back, slowly reaching back down behind you. Now, if your legs are touching the ground, you can take your hands down towards the mat. Otherwise, if your feet are not touching the ground behind your forehead, just keep the hands supported on the lower back. If you're comfortable with your arms on the ground, you can extend your arms and interlace the fingers into yoga mudra. Keep reaching the sit bones towards the sky, taking the feet, the heels down towards the ground, creating lots of space, lots of room for the back muscles and tendons. Staying with the breath, once again, still focusing here on the navel and just watching the breath flow into and out of the body. Keeping the mind focused, steadfast on the breath, on the sensations within the body. Slowly taking the hands out from Yoga Mudra. Keep the hands on the ground, supporting you as you roll down vertebra by vertebra, keeping the legs close in towards the body as much as you can. So that you're really using those back muscles and make sure you use those breaks, use your arms to support your body as it slowly comes down. Keep extending the legs out, bringing them back down towards the mat. And exhale, relaxing, coming into Shavasana. Corpse pose. Staying focused on the breath. Release, relax. Taking your hands beneath the buttocks, palms facing down. Getting ready for Matsyasana. Fish pose, which is the counter posture for Sarvangasana. Inhale, pressing down with the elbows extending the chest towards the sky, keeping the toes pointed and legs together, pressing the legs firmly into the ground, taking the crown of the head and sliding it along the mat to open up the throat. This is, these two postures are great for the thyroid, balancing out the energy of yin and yang in the thyroid gland and the rest of the body. This gland regulates metabolism within the body. So these two postures are great if there's any imbalance in that area. Slowly exhale, taking the head and rolling it back towards the chest, coming into Javasana. Inhale, reaching the arms above the head. Inhale, reaching up and getting ready for Pachimottanasana, head knee pose. Reaching the arms out, keeping the back nice and flat. Looking forward with the eyes, using the breath to take you deeper, each breath deeper and deeper into the posture. Keep breathing into the backs of the legs. Really feel your Uddiyana Bandha in this posture pulling those very lower abdominal muscles towards the back of the spine. This is what gives you the length in this posture. If you like, if you're comfortable, you can take your hands into prayer position, or if you like, you can take them as far on your legs as is comfortable. Inhale, reaching the hands up and back, getting ready for reverse plank, palms facing towards the toes, or you can, if it's comfortable, face them the opposite direction, but never to the sides. Really pressing down with the legs firmly, pressing the pelvis bone towards the sky and reaching the chin back. If your chin is all the way back, as you inhale and drop the sit bones, 
allow your chest to come over your sit bones first before you actually bring your chin back towards your chest. And coming back down into forward plank position, relaxing down and just letting the forehead sit on the ground, getting ready for Bhurjangasana once again. Cobra posture, inhale, head up towards the sky, drawing those feet towards the back of the head if this is comfortable. Remember at whatever stage you're at, just be with your body, listen to it, and be comfortable at whatever stage. There's no destination, no way it should look. Inhale, getting ready once again. Jangasana. Inhale, slowly allowing the body to expand, extending through the crown of the head, reaching that head back, opening up the chest, drawing the feet towards the back of the spine. The knees will spread out a little bit in this position. And exhale, slowly coming back down and resting the forehead on the ground making a nice little pillow with your hands and allowing the ear to rest on your pillow. Just feeling the breath flowing into and out of the body here. Inhale, head back to center, getting ready for locust. First we'll do a simple variation, then we'll do a single legged variation, and then we'll do the full posture. Now the full posture is a very advanced pose so I only recommend it for those very experienced and or under the guidance of a qualified instructor. Inhale, extending the legs behind you. Really breathing into the upper back here, pressing down with the hands and reaching the legs back and down, relax, allowing the right cheek to rest on the hands. Once again, allowing your body to reflect, to relax, to release. being with the breath. Inhale, head back to center. Once again, getting ready. Palms facing down, pinkies touching. Kissing the mat with your lips. Just keeping the chin tucked and inhale, left leg back and up, keeping that hip rolled in so we don't open up that hip too much towards the side, keeping leg nice and strong, keeping those toes rolled in as you exhale, coming back down slowly and inhale slowly, coming to the right side. Once again, keeping that right inner ankle bone rolled in so that the hip doesn't open up to the side too much. We've got this nice parallel line with the hips. So both hips are equal level. Inhale, coming back down, reaching the hands back up and relaxing the left cheek onto your nice little pillow, allowing the body to reflect to relax, to release. Now we're getting ready for the full posture. 
fingers pressing down into the ground. In the full posture, we do extend the chin forwards. Now, when you're coming up, make sure you do not ever press down with your chin. You're pressing down with the forearms and inhaling and strongly using the middle and upper back muscles to get you up all the way, reaching the feet up towards the sky. And slowly, once you've regained composure, you can bring the feet towards the forehead if you like. Shalabhasana, locust, beautiful posture. Slowly exhale, bringing your feet back up towards the sky and rolling down one vertebra at a time. Take your time coming down, relax. Inhale, resting your right cheek on your pillow. Taking deep breaths here. Inhale, head back to center, taking both hands back towards the feet, getting ready for upward facing bow. Taking a few deep breaths as you inhale, pressing your feet back towards the forest behind you. And just letting those hands like hooks grasp those feet and lift those shoulders back and up. This dichotomy of movements here. As your feet move back, your arms are reaching up. And head is reaching up. Legs are lifting you up. And once again, getting ready, taking those hands and thumbs with the rest of the fingers, using them like hooks on the backs of the ankles. As you inhale, pressing the ankles back towards you, allowing them to lift you up. Rolling gently onto your front soft portion of your belly, really reaching the feet up behind you, allowing them to open up the chest, looking up, stretching up, just allowing those shoulders to really open. Exhale, slowly coming down and relaxing, taking your right cheek onto the ground. Inhale, pressing up and back, coming into downward dog just to release any of the tension in the legs. It's a great resting posture, counteracting all the back bends we've just done. Inhale and reaching both feet forward, coming into frog position, getting ready for crow. Hands are in prayer. Bringing the hands down towards the ground and keeping the knees up towards the shoulders onto the four arms behind you. Using those abdominal muscles, looking at the ground steadfast on one point, picking the legs up, 
This posture is a great posture for building confidence, building self-esteem, really grounding through the hands, and slowly coming back down into frog position. Hands in Namaste. And inhaling, coming all the way back up to standing. Taking the hands down, coming to the front of the mat. Namaste. Slowly inhale and taking that left leg back into T position. Remember, back foot is on a 45 degree angle, reaching way, way out, slowly coming down into Trikonasana, triangle posture. Really remember to focus on the hips, not compressing into the hips so that there's a blockage of energy. I want to feel the energy flowing through the entire body. Really opening that chest towards the sun, towards the sky. Keeping those eyes fixed on that left thumb. Inhale, coming back up and into Virvadrasana 2. Warrior 2. Keeping those shoulders nice and level. Keeping that knee directly above that ankle. And pressing that back outside foot, outside of the foot, down to the ground. Inhale, opposite foot forwards, coming back into Namaste. And inhale, right foot back into T position, keeping that right foot turned in on 45, reaching that left arm forwards and down into Trikonasana. Keep rolling that back hip out. Finding the length in the upper body. Opening the chest up towards the sky, keeping those eyes fixed on that right thumb. Looking up and extending through both arms, finding that length. Beautiful T inhale, coming back up and slowly bending that left knee into Virvadrasana 2. And keeping those arms nice and long, dropping both shoulders. So we've got this nice line of energy running in both directions. Making sure to keep that left knee pressing more to the outside. Most often people drop this knee inwards so that it's not directly over the ankle. You want to keep that energy directly above that ankle. Inhale, bringing that right leg forward back into Namaste, into Mountain Pose. Inhale, reaching the arms up and coming back down to seated chair position and pushing right through, coming all the way down to seating. If you can't do this, just come down any way that's comfortable, being gentle with the body. And getting ready for Lord of the Fishes. Half spinal twist. Inhale, reaching that left arm up and back. Bringing it nice and close into the sacrum. Inhale, that right arm up and over. So the first position, you can actually take your hand and just rest it on your hip. If this is comfortable for you, you can stay here. If you'd like to go more advanced, you can reach that right hand for that left ankle. And if you're comfortable here, you can go into what's called a bind and reach the hand through and bring the opposite hand back. with the breath.
and inhaling counter posture, taking that right hand back once again in towards the scapegum and left hand on that left ankle, keeping the chin level with the ground, taking the eyes as far in the direction of the twist as is comfortable. And switching legs, left leg goes under the hip, right leg comes over and right ankle is in line with the left knee. Inhale that right arm up and back. Arm in line with the center of the spine and inhaling that left arm up and over that right knee. And if you want, you can allow that left arm to rest on that right hip or you can reach that left hand over to that right ankle, keeping the chest nice and open, chin level with the ground, eyes as far in the direction of the twist as possible. If you want to come into the bind, you can reach that left hand through that right leg little window and draw that right arm back behind you to reach the left hand. Keeping up as straight as possible in this position, finding the length in the body, and inhaling, coming back around, opposite direction. Counter posture. This time the left hand Reaching behind, right hand, extending forward, inhale, come back around to center. Uncross the legs and slowly rolling down vertebra by vertebra, getting ready for Shavasana. Try and feel each vertebra touching the ground so that the entire spine is very long. Breathing deep. Breathing into the lower belly. Focusing on the sensations within the body. Keeping the mind steady. No attachments to any thoughts or feelings that come up. Being connected with the heart with the sensation of the breath as your body breathes with the universe, melting, melting. The entirety of your being is melting like a drop of water in the desert being absorbed by the sun-parched earth. Your body, your worries, melt away. Relaxing deeper and deeper. Relaxing deeper and deeper.
bringing the attention back to the body, slowly wiggling the toes and hands. Inhale and slowly squeeze every muscle in your body tight, reaching, squeezing, holding, and relax. Exhale, slowly dropping down. Once again, deep, deep inhalation, squeezing every muscle in your body as tight as you possibly can, squeezing your facial muscles, squeezing your hands, squeezing your toes, and relax. Ah. Releasing all tension out of the body. Last time, inhale, squeezing every single muscle tight, legs holding and relaxing down. Inhale the arms above the head. Coming back up into sitting L position. Coming up however is comfortable for you. Coming to seated cross-legged position into your meditation pose. Lotus, half lotus. Whatever is comfortable for you. Namaste. Thank you.